Hey guys, Visual Studio Code. This is the code editor that most of the application developers and learners who are learning programming using nowadays. In this session, let us see how to write HTML and CSS code faster using the Emmet feature of Visual Studio Code. Let's start. Before that, if you haven't installed Visual Studio Code, go to the download page of Visual Studio Code and install it based on your OS. If you have any difficulty, please refer my suggested video index.html now let us see how to create html bilaterate code or skeleton for that just type the exclamation symbol and press the enter there you go now you got the html skeleton code and you don't need to write it manually like head body html root element everything and now let us see how to define the html elements or tags using the shorthand or m8 feature for that, just you can type the name of the element. So I am typing the div and press enter. There you go. Now it created the div with the star tag and editing tag. And same way you can just type p for paragraph, section for section. And you can write the comment. So let's see how to define the element with attributes. This time I am going to use id. So div and give the as symbol. Because it is ID, you have to use a symbol, container, press enter. You can see that the div is created with the ID container that we provided. And the same way, you can use the section element also, not just the div. You can use any element for that matter. Section, ash, container 2, press enter. You got the section element with the ID container 2. Now let us see how to define the element with the class div dot container. So container is the class here and for the class we need to use the dot symbol and press enter it creates the div with the class container. Not just the single class you can provide the multiple classes too. You can say div dot container dot first dot second dot third you can give any number of classes press enter so it is created the div with all the classes that we provided and now let us see how to combine these attributes like id and class are attributes here so how to combine the attributes and define the element to combine the attributes type the element name and then for id you say container and for the class you can use the dot because you have to mention the id with the as symbol and class with the dot symbol so i say class name FIRST first and press enter there you go now we got that id container class let's see how to create the input elements easily if input if you want to type text then you can just use the colon symbol then type text enter you got input type text name id everything you got and you can just close like this also there is another way to define this so just you can use input and then you can just type type equal to so i want text and if you want to specify any attribute value equal to and if you want to provide value you can just say krish something and same way password type just input password there you go this way you can define the input elements very easily nested elements so if you want to define the navigation let's say now and then i would like to have another list then i would like to have list press enter there you go so we have now navigation and another list and list now let us see how to define the siblings you can say section plus section and plus section so you can use as many as you want press enter you can see that it created the three section elements and for children we have already seen that nested element the same way you can use it will create the parent element and child element now let us see the grouping thing so let's say if you'd like to have the code like this like div header then order list then footer then some element and for this just you can use div then nested symbol then you can open this parenthesis like this header then we are going to have again nested one ul and inside that li and inside that anchor tag and after that just add the other sibling so you are going to have the footer as a sibling so footer and in the footer we are going to have the paragraph 
press enter there you go now you now you got div header order list footer and everything now let us see how to multiply the element if you'd like to create more than one element how to create it i'm using another list and inside that using the nested syntax i would like to have the li six times and just use the asterisk symbol and then six enter there you go so it created the six li elements for you inside the another list but if you'd like to provide the class name for each li element like class item 1 item 2 item 3 item 4 item 6 ul then nested symbol li dot because you're going to define the class and class name item and then just use the dollar symbol and then asterisk so how many times you are going to define six times just enter if you'd like to define element with the content div and use the curly brackets like that and write whatever inside that and you can give the spaces in between the text but at the end don't give the space come out of the curly brackets and just press enter so you got it usually you see that many use the lorem dummy text to demand at something and to write it just use the div and inside that just you can say lorem then you got the text so this is about some very important HTML embed or shorthands. Now let us see the shorthands to write faster CSS code. And here I'm going to use the style, enter. And I'm going to just write the class called test. First let us see how we can write position. So for position just mention POS and enter. The default value is relative. If you want to specify the absolute value for position, then POS and then colon A. For fixed, you can use F. Basically, we use the first letter of the value after colon. Let us see how we can write margin and padding. For margin, just type M and enter. You get the margin and there you can specify the value for margin. And the same way, if you want to specify the margin left, ML, margin left. And for margin right, MR. As I said, first letter of the value you can use. And here no colon just you can specify empty margin top the same way you can use the padding also so p for padding and padding left pl and padding right pr so this way you can write the code for padding and margin for display just use the d and enter display block is the default value and if you want to display none dn display none and if you want to display flex df display flex and if you want to display inline flex d i f sorry d i f display inline flex and same way you can write display table d t and already we discussed about d n so inline block also you can write just d i b display inline block so this way you can specify that and if you want to box shadow you can just mention b x w box shadow and let us see how to write the width for width you can just specify w width and if you want minimum width just m i w minimum width and maximum width m a w max width and the same way you can write height h for height and minimum height m h minimum height and the same way m a h is maximum height for color you can write just c enter color and the default value is as 000 if you want to specify the rgb then cr enter you can get that rgb and if you want rgba cr a enter rgba you get it and for cursor cur cursor and the default value is pointer cur and n means cursor none so we know that so the same way of position it works and after colon you can use the first letter of the value so these are some of the commonly used css shorthands and you can explore others also hope this video helpful for you and please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for all the updates thank you for watching